Hello my friends, happy to see you in my channel Annette Lovart and today we will start to paint beautiful lotus flowers. Let's start. First we need to prepare our colors and like you see I do mix between water and acrylic colors and you make mix it must look like this. Yes, you understand how must look your colors. Not less water, not more. Perfect. Sometimes I can use uh, medium, but in this time I'm using just simple water. Next color we will need it's yellow. Just a little bit. I'm using colors like Turner brand from Ger Japan. Just want to say Germany. And look, I took a little bit white. My opinion, every time you must put uh, a little bit white colors because we paint one stroke paintings and you need to have colors not so um, transparent. Yes, it must be strong covering. And we can use, of course, pin color for these flowers. And we do the same, just a little bit waters and blending water together with uh, colors. I hope you look at my video before because every time I try to explain like uh, for this kind technique paint flowers you must have two colors in the same time on your brush and better when it's uh, dark and light. You see I took dark colors. Now we will start to paint flowers. I took full brush white colors and just a little bit on the tip pink, light pink. We will need this for to paint uh, very light petals. And like you see I do stroke every time with the same combination. What is it leaves inside of flowers? Yes. You can see beautiful gradient between light pink and white. Every time each stroke I took a little bit uh, light pink on my brush. Just a little bit like I show it from starting. Every time I have white colors and a little bit pink. You can see in my brush on the tips I have every time uh, two colors. I'm using for this painting a brush size number three and it's squirrel. Maybe you see I'm sometimes took a little bit just a little bit dark pink but just a little bit and not everywhere. Like you see we can do beautiful gradient and continue to do all petals uh, inside flowers. One by one stroke you continue to do and now I'm using a little bit white. In the same time I'm using three colors like white, pink, and a little bit yellow. Great, we finish it and now we will start to paint more dark pink. I took the same light pink, full brush. You can see, yes, and size number two. I changed brush for size number two. And took a little bit pink and more dark red. I have in the same time on my brush three colors. Look what, you will, what we will have. Yes, nice gradient. Every new stroke I'm using the same combination. Light pink first, after very bright pink and just a little bit on the tip uh, dark red. And don't afraid. Maybe try to do some few strokes uh, in some another kind of paper because uh, you must make some practice. 
I am paint many years and for me it's so easy, but for you it can be easy too. Just need to don't afraid uh, make mistake like me with my English. <laughs> And I want to show you again. Look, I took light pink after bright pink. Just a little bit. And on the tip, dark red. Every time I took the same combination. Remember this. And make some another pedals. I do this with small brush, size number two. And it's squirrel round brush, I think you see. But right now I'm changing for size number four because with two it can be so difficult. When we finish uh, paint all leaves or petals, I'm sorry, you can make some small decoration with very small size brush. I'm using for this decoration synthetic and I took more light colors maybe it was white and make like this line because usually uh, lotus have some line on him pen or him leaves after I took a little bit yellow green yellow I think it can be looks like drawing yes Perfect. And we change color. I took the same dark red with small brush. Do you see? This brush I was buy in a manicure shop. This is very cool because in manicure shop it's price more cheaper than in a professional art shop. And uh, you can find a lot of cool brushes in these kind shops for manicure. Uh, we continue to paint the same and uh, maybe sometimes it can be so dark you can put a little bit bright colors to your dark red yes like me and do some mix and my advice for you when you will do like this like drawing let's say drawing uh, when you will do these lines put more water because with a lot when you paint small lines better to have uh, more water in colors and you can do simple things look at my brush yes like this you can continue for each petals it can be cool it will look more natural you of course uh, can don't do it this but I like uh, with a lot of details it looks so cool now you can look more near how it looks yes you know about what I will asking you right now yes yes you know exactly why you don't do it this before you can put me like please guys it's um, very important for me and you will not lost nothing tomorrow you will have the same uh, quantity of uh, likes and for me it will be so cool thank you and i will be so happy to see your question or you can write me just hello i will be happy to see feedback from you if you like it my video maybe you can share with your friends in facebook Pinterest, Instagram, I don't know, everywhere. And yes, yes, welcome to my Instagram page with the same name. I have page where is, of course, video more often than in YouTube. And welcome, see you every time to my flower family. Every time when you see my video, don't be greedy, don't be greedy just put like and make some nice comment don't be lazy or greedy i don't know but for me it's so important really it can help me to grow my page more faster than before and i can do more videos look right now i'm using white color 
and I want to make some contrast lines, yes? I think it's cool. If you like, you can do it in your flowers to the same. This decoration. This can be second layers. And why we was need light yellow? Special for this. And like you see, I was say to put a little bit white color to your yellow, just because if you will paint only by yellow, lemon colors, it will be so transparent. And I using a little bit green. Now we can paint center of flowers. I'm using simple green. It can be it can be green, uh, yellow, any pictures different. some shadow I was change my opinion I want to make less bright more light yes and now we will do some decoration I'm using simple white colors and yellow but different yellow more warm yes like cut me Perfect. Yes, yes. It's we paint open flower. Yes, because next flower will be more close and uh, we not will paint inside nothing. But this decoration you can do how you want. Just open Google and look pictures how it looks these flowers. Right now we will start to paint second flower. I took light pink, the same, full brush. Yes, you can see full brush and I took just on the tip a little bit pink. And a little bit dark red. This time I was did violet color. Let's repeat pink and just a little bit violet. Now we do all leaves. Uh, sorry, petals. I want to every time say leaves. We do every time uh, more dark side. You can follow my hand. How I'm using brush. This is size number three. I have video about my brush, how it's, uh, how I'm using, which brand you can find a uh, video in my material, uh, in my playlist about materials. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sad I don't speak English very well, but I can explain something. I have video in my channel about acrylic colors. You know, usually I'm using one of the best brand for to paint one stroke paintings. One brand, it's Turner from Japan, made in Japan. This is perfect Turner, but you can find about this brand um, how it looks in my channel. I have playlist about materials what I'm using, like I say before before about brush and next video it will be about acrylic colors you can see and you can understand why uh, my painting so bright because uh, it's very important which brand do you using you cannot paint like this with any brand this is must to be so covering I don't know, I am very enjoying when I'm looking at this uh, combination colors and when you do this stroke, you must try. If you never try, you must try because it's so relaxing. You see, wow, it's so tasty. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know nice words for this process. And guys, 
so much if you see now this video write me comment because it's like engine you know it's like engine or electricity for youtube algorithm they look at my video and thinking okay people leave comments and it means this video nice and i hope you like it if you continue still watch my video i think can be nice video yes right now i thinking i want to do some few petals more dark and i took for my brush more in this time more dark uh, red bright red yes you can see i took more of these colors and i took size number four brush again i remount it squirrel and uh, i can do some petals with one stroke yes you see it's more pink i'm using uh, more dark pink I think it will be more uh, looks natural. Just a little bit light, a lot of uh, bright pink and just a little bit dark violet. Do another stroke just next to this and another. And these flowers, we do some details too. I took a light, this not light, lemon yellow with light, uh, <laughs> with white colors. And again, we try to drawing. <laughs> and try to repeat all this form, each petals, you know. Um, this is important because it will give it more natural and it will give it some dynamic to your paintings. It's the same brush. Not the same brush, it's another, but uh, find this brush in the same shop for manicure. And it's really, I was very surprised, like, why for professional shops price more high than um, manicure shops? Maybe because people who using brush for manicure throw this brush more faster than uh, painters because he using with a lot of um, special colors. Now you can see more faster to everywhere. And now we change color, we take violet and continue to do the same like we did in first flower. Yes, we finish. Yeah, just a little bit. Sometimes you can see somewhere you can do more dark. This it will make a good contrast, but not do everywhere. Just few leaves, uh, petals. I hope to end of this video. I will remind how it's correct. And after when we finish this lotus, we can start to paint another. The same combination, light pink, bright pink and a little bit violet. But you see here, I don't using bright. You can do a little bit different uh, mix. It will look more natural. Don't make this like rules, but first on your brush, first color on your brush must be light and on the tip it must to be dark. If you paint in a light background, like me, for example, you see my background, it's more light. If I will paint the same paintings on a black background, you will must to do totally different, contrary. You must to took on your brush, dark color, and on the tip, light pink. But we paint uh, in light, light background. It can be more easy. Yeah, we continue to do all these strokes. 
you can have three brush for this painting you can have three brush from squirrel size number two for some details size number three what I'm usually 99% using and sometimes when you need to paint a uh, big petals you can using uh, size number four and for brush of course you can have like this uh, synthetic to make somewhere small line next video what I will make it will be with uh, this globe from starting video I want to show it how to paint this beautiful dragon in fact it's not dragon it's uh, snacks from Thailand and I will show it a little bit my holiday in Bangkok and uh, how to paint this uh, beautiful Thai globe and next time it will be for you more easy to understand because you saw already these paintings and now we will do the most simple things it's uh, put on look it's only three stroke we can make calculate how many strokes four five six no seven <laughs> seven strokes and here you can make more green because it's only put on and you can paint with more green right now I'm using light green and dark green you see two colors like every time I say and we do one very long big stroke and here we have nice gradient too right now I'm stopping be careful here and continue our line last flower and we make a little bit drawing with the same green <laughs> I'm sorry if I call it drawing but it looks like drawing yes some small details and uh, we are finished yes of course it's only depends from you how you like you can make because I can continue to do these details till uh, tomorrow morning I hope you give you some new information guys and of course I wait your like because it's end of the video and if you pass all the video you must put like and see you next time with this wonderful beautiful globe from uh, Thai inspiration and uh, of course uh, happy to know you coming my family flower family kiss kiss see you next time bye bye